हेलो व्यूअर्स दिस इज प्रिया हाना एंड यू आर वॉचिंग यर्न टू लर्न टूडेज टॉपिक इज एनर्जी कॉन्जर्वेशन डे सेलिब्रेशन आइडियाज सो एनर्जी कॉन्जर्वेशन डे इट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फोर्टीन डिसम्बर एवरी ईयर not just in india but across the world so national as well as international energy conservation day falls on 14th december one day is not just the purpose the purpose is a reminder on that particular day so as to imbibe good practices in our day to day life as educators it is our prime responsibility and duty to sensitize students about the same and not just students but their families society and community at large so here i'm going to share with you seven ideas or you may say suggestions uh, uh, on how you can celebrate energy conservation day with your students let's begin the first idea is taking pledge you may call this pledge energy conservation pledge sustainability pledge green pledge it's your wish you can give it any name now there are two ways you can take this sustainability pledge first is you yourself write a pledge and begin it with let's take a pledge or let's pledge to and then students in the class they stand up and move forward their hand and take this pledge or if you are taking remote class that is through online mode then you administer this pledge and they repeat after you with their hands here on their heart so this is how you can do it the second way you can conduct pledges you give this to students only that they formulate their own pledge on energy conservation day and follow it religiously now you can give them a starter i dash pledge to and then they can have three points or five points for example i priya handa pledge to turn off the lights when i leave a room set my computer laptop on hibernation or sleep mode when not in use unplug the electronics when not in use so this is how a pledge can be designed and written by the students themselves and they would follow it and uh, share with their family members also encourage them also to follow the same second idea is board games students can be divided into groups or pairs and they can make their own board games like ludo or snakes and ladders or monopoly or candy land so they can design their own board game but the difference would be at uh, various junctures on this game uh, there would be eco tips there would be uh, information about renewable or non renewable resources there would be eco facts or they can design it in a creative way all by themselves for example uh, at starting point they are at smog area which is smog area and they have to reach the finish point which is green area that is green area and uh, they would use dice to play this game so just drop them this idea and rest of the work they'll take care of next idea is unplug reminders students can make reminders uh, like unplug me turn me off shut me if not in use and place 
such reminder cards near the appliances or devices how they can do it is they can design their logos they can just simply put it in an attractive way they can have uh, you know posters on that so these reminders near the appliances or devices uh, would be practically useful to them and you can conduct it as an activity in your class and they can get themselves clicked with the reminder that they have made and share their pick with you so tell your students to make a list of appliances at their house or in their school that are energy parasites such as computers, overhead projectors, TV sets, etc. And then write messages and reminders on the cards to turn off and unplug when they are not in use. They can draw logos and design them as per their needs. The next idea is energy charades riddles or fictionary basically these are three ideas clubbed into one energy charades how can you play that now you can take some terms related to energy energy conservation renewable and non-renewable resources something related to that and then uh, without speaking anything just by gestures uh, either students or you yourself can enact it and they have to guess it for example um, yes that's a bulb okay um, not just any bulb so you can symbolize like it's L so that they get some idea if you're talking about energy conservation we are talking about LED bulbs so this was very simple you can have your own creative inputs there next thing I said was riddle so here is one riddle for you to guess let's see whether you get it or not I am all about light at noon strongest is my might you can't see much of me at night did i catch your sight so what is it okay let me give you a hint it's a type of energy i will leave its answer in the pinned comment in the comment box you can check whether you got it right or not further i was saying Pictionary. So in Pictionary again you can have a list of terms related to energy resources, energy sources and um, energy conservation ideas or any key terms, keywords. What you can do you can make the list of these words and phrases and distribute to the students. Now students without doing any acting or telling anything about it have to draw that term or phrase on a piece of paper and show it to others others will guess what term what source whatever is the thing the student has drawn fifth idea is ad mad presentation on energy conservation so ad mad is presenting an advertisement now you can pair up the students uh, divide them in groups if it's feasible or even in video call you know if your students are senior students you are taking elementary grade or higher classes you can tell them to make a video they are very smart they'll edit it and send it to you so you can give them uh, you can uh, make a group of three and tell them to create an ad on energy conservation leave them with this idea with this topic give them a time limit say the ad should not be more than two minutes so let them work together and uh, convey the idea of energy conservation in their own way you can promote such videos of ad presentations on the social media handle so that it sensitizes public at large Sixth idea is poster making or slogan writing. So uh, something which is visually, uh, uh, you know, conveyed is very emphatic. So what you can do, you can conduct a poster making competition or slogan writing competition and distribute e-certificates. And if you don't want to take it as a competition, you can have an activity of either poster making or slogan writing. Some of the slogans could be, it doesn't take much energy to save energy, conserve energy, preserve future, cut down excuse and stop energy misuse.
so i have given a hint of these slogans not for the slogan ideas but actually to sensitize you to save energy that was the purpose okay coming to the seventh idea the seventh idea is taking quiz quiz on energy conservation on exhaustible and inexhaustible sources of energy because the main goal of energy conservation day is to bring down uh, you know the use of power the to save electricity to switch off the lights and fans to unplug the devices when not in use so basically to save on exhaustible that is non renewable sources of energy so if we can conduct quiz on that students would be more aware they will read about it they will uh, get more information about it they would be able to understand and separate facts from fiction you can create quiz on any platform for example kahoot there are ready made quizzes also or you can create your own if you need to see how you can create or use quiz on kahoot you can get the link of the video in the description box below so that was it these were the seven ideas i hope you will spice them up with your own creativity and modify them as per your grade level May God bless you all and before I leave a very important reminder do help your co-friends your colleagues and other educators so like share and subscribe this is Priya Hana signing off may God bless you all